Today, I'm going to end the life of every single person on this planet. And naturally, the best way to do that is using the big pandemic we've all been experiencing for the past few years. And this should be easy, considering how much damage this has done to the real world. Now, where does TikTok want to start? I'm thinking somewhere dense with lots of population, but they also have to have an airport and a seaport. I would pick the UK, but that's a little bit too mean for my pandemic, so I'm going to start in India. TikTok begins in India. And just like that, I've unleashed a great plague into the world which no one is safe from. There's going to be incredible amounts of suffering. So far, there's obviously no infections, no deaths, no transmission, no symptoms, no abilities. It's just TikTok. But we got our disease on the board, five people infected, so far. I'm not sure how many people are in India currently, there's 7.1 billion in the world, nine of whom are infected. And I forgot I actually have to pay attention to pop these bubbles, but they're gonna get me disease points. And just like in real life, I'm not gonna let people know the dangers of TikTok until it's too late. I'm just gonna make sure it's spread out as far as possible before hurting people. So let's let it spread by insects. And that should help it spread a lot. Now, if there's nothing too dangerous about it, no one's gonna notice, and even if they do, they're probably not gonna care that much to do anything about it. But there's 100 people infected thanks to insect carrying. Uh, those numbers are going up pretty quickly, we're getting a few dozen every second. And we're about to break 1,000 people infected, and that means we have 12 DNA points to spend. So next, let's do livestock. I'd imagine there's a lot of that in India, but I can't say for sure. I can barely point to it on a map. But those numbers are climbing now. Instead of going in like a dozen, they're going in maybe a thousand per tick. TikTok infects thousands. We're starting to get somewhere, but I need billions. I need many billions. But look at all those DNA points we have. There's 21, so now we're going to give ourselves air transmission. You gotta think that's gonna help it spread if it can spread through the air itself. Now we're getting several thousand infected per tick. Which isn't adding up to a lot yet, I mean we've only got a very little bit of India, but it's going to spread more and more. The more people that have the plague known as TikTok, the more it's going to spread. And we've made it into Pakistan! We're going places. And I get a big bonus for that. The more countries I hit, the more I'm going to get. And we're into that country. We have rash symptom mutated. I think we also just made it into China. Yep, we have a few people infected in China. That's a big population mass. Now, rash is a thing we've just got that does increase infectivity, but that's going to get people's attention. We're going to devolve that. I really want TikTok to just seem as harmless as possible. That way no one's going to care. It's going to spread the globe. And then we're going to put on like hemorrhaging and make people's eyeballs fall out or something. Until then though, no one's going to care. Uh, while we're at it, I should probably give it some heat resistance and maybe some bacterial resilience. Uh, that way it can help protect it against all climates. Uh, we're pretty near the equator, so uh, warm climates are going to be a more priority. Just look at poor India there. We've got like one-eighth of them infected. But those numbers are going up super quickly suddenly, probably because of its heat resistance. We're getting like 40 million people per tick. And we've actually already uh, infected like one-tenth of the world, so I guess India was a good place to start. India's looking pretty red. How we do in India? Okay, India is fully infected suddenly, and we're spreading quickly. I'm just waiting to see a red uh, plane or boat come out of India to land somewhere else. We need to make it to some of these other continents. I'm also going to give it cold resistance to help it get into some of those colder places like Canada. And let's help put it into some rodents. Maybe some rodents will get into some boats and help the boats travel around the world to infect more people everywhere. Even the animals aren't safe from TikTok. I'm making a lot of points. We've got like a fifth of the world infected now. And I don't think we've even hit any of the western continents yet, though I did see a red plane just land in the UK. So that feels like a victory already. 19 DNA points to spend. We want water transmission next. And last will be bloodborne or birds. I don't know if blood's going to be a big infective one, but we got Russia, which is a big geographic area. Not the biggest population, but still pretty big. And this is great. I've infected 1.4 billion people and no one has any idea. Oh, we finally made it into North America. We have Canada. But now that we are getting into places like Canada and the UK that probably have pretty strong health systems, Let's give it drug resistance. Pathogen becomes resistant to class 1 and class 2. Antibiotics. Increase infectiveness in wealthy countries. You can't outsmart TikTok. There is no winning. And the coughing symptom is mutated. That's actually super contagious. Like, super contagious. But that's going to start to grab people's attention. If scientists all over the world are like, why is everyone coughing? They're going to look into why. They can't know it's TikTok. They can't know TikTok exists yet. As I recall, Madagascar and I think Greenland are the two hard ones to get, both because you need a boat to get there. Boats rarely go there, and they're very cold in a very hot country. So let's make sure the birds are doing their job. I can't believe it's 17 points for birds. 
avian carriers increase infectivity, land transmission, and mutation. I don't need a lot of mutation, and I don't know if I need blood. Like, are people out there sharing blood with each other? I think we might have just got Iceland. We sure did. That's a big one because I feel like boats go from Iceland to Greenland a lot. Now that I say that out loud, I don't see why they would, but I did just see a boat land in Greenland. And there's a few boats. Central America, also not safe from TikTok. There's a whole bunch of uh, African countries. Central Europe. Uh, we really had a good start with India and China. The world is looking awfully red in that little corner of the world. We got Madagascar. That's definitely one of the hard ones. The world is a little over 50% infected already. And we're definitely getting around pretty quickly. We have 62 points to spend already. I think at this point, I'm probably just going to save up. Because again, even a rash is going to give us away. It always does. But considering we still have a lot of healthy countries. One of them's Greenland. We also have places like Sweden and Norway and Finland. Which tells me we need more cold resistance. Those are the only possible thing those countries have in common. 16 points? Yeah, whatever, go for it. We're also going to uh, do more drug resistance too. So after extra cold and drug resistance, we're left with only 25 points. We'll get more points again. We've got a lot of people to infect. And once people actually start dying of TikTok too, we'll get lots of points. Because that's really the whole goal. But I'm pretty sure every red bubble right now also is a new country. That one was either uh, Finland or Norway. They're very interchangeable. Oh, I think one landed in Greenland. I saw the red boat go in there. The UK is looking pretty rough too. They have a lot of infections. So we're at two thirds of the world infected so far and that should go quicker. So in the USA currently, every tick we're getting 70,000 people infected. That number might go up when I start to add things like coughing. Uh, coughing just added itself again. Tempted to let this one run because that makes a big difference. We're going up to like a hundred and something thousand, five hundred thousand per tick. Just thanks to that. Um, given that three quarters of the world is already infected, I think we're just going to let coughing take over the rest. We'll maybe give the people a little bit of a fighting chance, but not too much. But look what coughing did to the world. I just realized how red everything is. The whole world is bleeding. What I might do at this point, since we've infected 95% of the world, is mostly figure out how to get more of these cold countries more infected. Is it livestock? Is there lots of livestock in these areas? Yeah, we'll, we'll let them have some more livestock. That only costs 18 points. Uh, we also have more cold resistance. Next, I think we're going to add sneezing because that adds quite a bit of infectivity. And that's not going to alarm anyone. A little bit of sneezing, people are just going to think, hey, I'm sneezing. That's no problem. Little do they know they're infected with TikTok. Oh, we also have cysts now too. Cysts might be a little bit more concerning. Scientists might go, okay, maybe we don't want these. So we're going to get rid of those. Okay, uh, whatever I just did is working because look at the big chunks we're infecting in Greenland. Oh, France starts working on a cure. For coughing and sneezing, typical France. Let's see what we can do about that. So we're maybe going to get genetic hardening right away to slow down their progress. TikTok needs to evolve to kill. You're sure right. Why is Sweden the one holding out? What is it about Sweden that's making it hard to get? Is it drug resistance? Do the Swedes do lots of drugs? No, there we go. We just had to start getting some large swaths of people infected. Now we're getting over a million per tick and Sweden doesn't have a huge population. So we just went from like 1% infected. Now we're at about 80% and... Now Sweden is pretty much infected. The whole world is pretty much infected. In fact, there are no healthy people left in the world. They're all succumbing to TikTok. All right, so now what are the biggest, baddest uh, things we can hit them with? Pneumonia sounds pretty bad. Uh, immune suppression has lots of lethality. Let's give them some immune suppression. You don't need an immune system. Total organ failure is like 30% lethal. I don't think it's fair. We can just jump straight to the total organ failure, but that's their problem. Coma sounds pretty bad. What else do we have? Beaver? They can have a fever. We only have 28 points left, so I need to make sure whatever we give them, it's really going to cause problems. I kind of also want it really lethal without being that severe. I don't know how we can separate those two things because I feel like if they're lethal, that should be considered severe. But we're going to add coma because comas are pretty important. Next, we can add systemic infection, but we're kind of out of points to spend. But I feel like what we just did is going to start killing a lot of people and we have anemia. Nobody knew when TikTok started just how bad it would be. First death in Mexico? Yeah, I feel like the deaths are going to start. There's another 200,000. There's another 300,000. So there's 1.3 million people dead. The world is going to fall pretty quickly. South Africa shut down its land borders, but I'm sorry to say it's too late. This highly transmissible disease is in all the countries in the world. In fact, every person has TikTok, whether they know it or not. 
The world is working on a cure, but they're 3% done, so it's a race against dying. And we've already killed more than the Black Death. Whether or not I succeed, I've already accomplished something pretty great here today. So we now have uh, about 200 million people dead, more than the Spanish flu. There's 230 million, 270 million, we could like 40 million per tick dying. Although that cure is a little alarming because it's 11% done now, we're gonna have to slow that down a little bit. People are dying, but maybe not as quick as I would like them to be as we kill more than smallpox. The cure for TikTok will be available in 174 days. But we've killed 740 million, we've got 6.4 billion left. So we might actually do it just as is, but I'm going to make it more deadly as I can. TikTok placed on watch list as we wiped out 10% of humanity. Look, I'm just trying to bring awareness. Oh no, we have nausea, because that's definitely everyone's problem when we have coma constantly. So what was it going to add next? Paralysis, systemic infection seems pretty bad. That adds a lot of lethality, infectivity, and severity. We're going to need more genetic hardening as soon as we can. That way it'll slow down the research speed, because they're 20% done now. But we're a little over 20% done with humanity, so... And we're killing about 100 million people per tick, so I think we're going to succeed just as is. I would like to make this more deadly though, or at least have people suffer a little more along the way. The gear is 25% done, but the world is about half dead at the same time, so that doesn't bode super well for them. We're going to add some paralysis because people really want some of that. Oh, I forgot about the drug thing again. What do we add to this to make it even worse? Tumors? Tumors are pretty bad. I wouldn't want a tumor. Internal hemorrhaging? I wish I found this one earlier. There you guys go. Oh, what's over here? Hemorrhagic shock. I didn't realize there were such interesting options over to the sides. Still killing well over 100 million per tick. The cure is about a third of the way done, but the world is about 90% gone. Australia's government has fallen. Uh, yeah, I wonder why. We 99% of the people are gone. If there was one guy named Ted there, he would basically be running the show. Uh, Indonesia, yeah, they're all going down quickly. How's Sweden doing? Norway's all gone. Sweden's still hanging in there, but Sweden was very resistant to this at first. And I don't know why. Hmm, I figured this would be at least a little bit more of a struggle. Oh, before everyone's dead though, let's see if we can add... That's 32 points. Can I have a few more points? Can you guys survive just a little longer so you can die in a slightly worse way? TikTok to eradicate humans. Y yes, we've known that for a while, yet people seem wildly unwilling to do anything about it. So there's 136,000 people left, 90,000, 60,000. I think we're going to do it. If anyone's immune to this, they can try and repopulate, but it's a tall order to replace 7 billion people. The entire world is officially dead. They succumbed to TikTok. Successfully eliminated all life on Earth. There's a disease graph. You can see the infectivity was rising, so no one cared because the severity and lethality wasn't there with it. So the cure they were looking for, they didn't even, well, they got almost halfway there, but then I increased how hard it was, so... That, ladies and gentlemen, is the power of TikTok. That was pretty easy, so naturally I'm way too high on myself, so now I'm gonna try Brutal because it's for strategic geniuses living in concrete bunkers. As long as I'm wielding TikTok, no one has a chance. Plus, I'm actually gonna do some of these genes I didn't really know about before. And I'm gonna do Aquasite, increased chance of plague spreading by C, because C is always the tough one. Then the plague is gonna get a bonus in humid climates. Then I'm gonna get ionized helix, bonus DNA when devolving. This time should be a little bit harder. We're gonna start in India again because I liked the way that worked out. But this should be much more of a struggle. We did upgrade our disease just a little bit, but it's not going to be enough to make up for this challenge. So now I'm just going to sit back and wait for enough DNA points to get some upgrades. I think we're going to go for livestock because that's only 7 points. And I feel like uh, there's a lot of rural areas in this part of the world. Probably also very hot and humid through there. I feel like there's a lot of rain and a lot of heat. But I could also be wrong because I'm talking about something that I don't know much about. But what else is new? 12 DNA points to spend. Let's see what we're going to do next. Let's try insects again. I feel like there's got to be a lot of insects in a hot, humid climate. At least that's where I would be if I was a bug. Okay, we've only infected 3,000 people, but we have another 15 points to spend. So we're going to get water. This is good for ship transmission and humid areas, which I think we're in. That seems to be working because we're now up to a thousand per tick and that's going to add up quickly considering we've only got seven thousand. We're going to get rid of coughing though. As much as that would help infect more people, I don't want anyone paying attention to us just yet. I'm also going to give it heat resistance because again, that's a hot part of the world. But we're now infecting like 50,000 people per tick. There's a hundred, so this is going to escalate quickly. We've officially crossed the 10 million people infected mark and no one suspects a thing. And we made it into our first new country. 
And there's a red boat headed for what might be Indonesia. There's a lot of red boats getting out there and that's going to mean a lot of extra points for us. So next, let's go airborne because we're starting to get into kind of the deserty regions of the world. And because of that airborne thing, uh, we can get on planes. I didn't realize we couldn't actually spread by planes until right now. Oh, but there's a red boat. It's going to the UK or maybe France. Oh, and we hit uh, North America already. So that's a pretty good sign. I'm going to have to make sure this thing is very transmissible in many different ways. Uh, we're going to go birds. That's an expensive upgrade, so I assume it's got to be worth it. And rodents. Then I do have to give it drug resistance also. But so far, so good. We've infected like one-fifth of the world, and we've uh, evolved nausea, which we're going to devolve. But so far, so good. This is all going according to plan. I don't know if that's a good plan, but it is my plan. Medicine in Australia is slowing the infection. Uh, any country with really top-notch healthcare is going to be a bit of a struggle right now. And with that one point, I think we can actually get it some drug resistance, and now it can spread in some of the uh, richer countries. And that's going to help, because I just need I need more infections everywhere. The more infections there are, the more likely it is to spread again and again and again to more places. I do have 1.5 billion people infected worldwide, though, so that's pretty good so far. I just hope the scientists don't notice it yet, and they shouldn't because there's really no symptoms. So we've infected a lot of countries, but we still have more that are still healthy. So that's going to get tricky. Let's give it some cold resistance for sure. That way we can start to make our way a little bit more into the northern climates. Just because they're cold doesn't mean they don't deserve TikTok also. I did see a red plane land in Greenland, so that's a good one. I know that's normally a hard one to get. And I don't know if boats do actually go from uh, Greenland, or sorry, Iceland to Greenland. But we'll find out. I'm tempted to go disease transmission... Maybe waterborne just one more for ship transmission. That's very expensive, but I think it's going to be worth it. I need more infected ships to get places like Madagascar and Greenland. Probably also going to need more drug resistance, because places like the USA are not getting infected in a hurry. We haven't even hit Canada yet. Canada! It was a frozen, hostile wasteland. So let's go a little more drug resistance then to hopefully get into those countries a little more. And I do actually think we just got Madagascar, so that's a big one. I might have to get a little more heat resistance, because I think there's a lot of warm countries resisting us so far too. Uh, we got Canada. I don't know why it puts the graph way up there. I would be surprised if the disease entered Canada from the Arctic Sea, but you never know. I do have 46 DNA points, but before spending any of those, I really need to see what countries are left. Then I need to try and decide on how to do this from here. We're also going to get rid of rashes, just like you should in real life. So the countries left are Greenland, Norway, Sweden, Baltic States, Ukraine, Morocco. So I'm wondering if we're going to need some help with the cold weather, because a lot of those are cold countries. Let's assume that's going to help, because also once we do finally get into those countries, I'm going to need to make the most progress there. We have infected about 60% of the world, and I think we just got Norway. And that should help get Sweden, because I'm as far as I know, the borders are all still wide open, so I would cross into different countries and spread TikTok around. There's Sweden. We've been in Iceland for a while and we only have 20 people infected so far, so it's going to be hard to get a boat from there to Greenland, if that's where the boats come from. So now we're getting somewhere. Russia is starting to spread a lot quicker. Uh, Canada is going to get up there pretty quick. Yeah, okay, suddenly the US just erupted. We have coughing now. We might just let coughing run its course because we're about 90% done anyways. Yeah, okay, we got Greenland now too. So hopefully that spreads pretty quick. I'm going to let coughing run its course because I need to start infecting people in a hurry. And Peru, which seems to know how to deal with TikTok. Uh, I also just realized Canada, apparently we annexed uh, Alaska along the way. And that's fine by me, but that might not be cool with other people. Okay, confirmed we've hit every country in the world. What do Canada, Greenland, Norway, and Sweden have in common? Like, how do we infect more of the people? Is it livestock again? We'll assume it's livestock. Uh, let's also give them some uh, sneezing. That shouldn't uh, raise too many alarm bells, but it should help spread that because I need to hit those countries pretty hard right now. New minor diseases spreading. Oh, I've got bad news for you. We've already spread. It's called TikTok and it's currently infected 7 billion people worldwide. Canada's numbers are climbing quite quickly. Greenland's are not. Greenland is going to be a problem. I'm not giving it insomnia because that's going to annoy people and that's going to make them do something about it. I do need to be careful how I spend points from here. I've only got 50 left. I'll get more as people start dying, but I've got to be strategic. I'm only going to get so many more to use. Greenland's got 900 people infected. That might go up. We might just have to play the waiting game. Typical Greenland, always holding up the rest of the world. 
thinks they're better than everyone else. Luckily, there's not a huge population there, so as I'm infecting like 700 people per tick, that's actually going to eat up Greenland pretty quick. Okay, progress is going in Greenland now, nice and quick. They'll be done before you know it, so let's start killing people. I do kind of like the route we took last time with immune suppression and then uh, total organ failure because that sounds pretty bad. And then next, I think instead of coma, we're going to follow anemia around to whatever was so bad over on that side. But now people should start dying. Morocco starts work on cure. Yeah, you might want to hurry. Insomnia mutated. Uh, I'm not going to fight to get insomnia back. I'm just going to keep going with severe symptoms. The more things that naturally mutate, the better because I can build off them. Uh, also, I should probably start getting disease resistance as soon as I can. So that's going to cost 14. But we've officially infected everyone in the world. So that's a good start. Uh, we've killed 1.5 million people now, and that's going quickly. Already we're at 6 million. They're all shutting down the borders now. Uh, I would like some points though, because the disease is already 10% cured, and that's going to start to worry me. But we've killed more than the Black Death. Okay, I need some points. D the disease is 20% done. I didn't realize they'd be this quick. Well, we're doing pretty good though overall. We've killed half a billion people, but the cure is 25% done. I really need to slow that down. Okay, we can slow it down now, 14 points. Now it's going to be a little bit slower. We might need a few genetic reshuffles, but I need a lot of people to die for the points. And in theory, the more people that die, the slower that should go because there's less people to research. Okay, I've got 14 points to spend. That might be enough for a reshuffle. 16 points. 25 points for that? 30 for that one? Uh, we might be in trouble. I'm still optimistic though. We are getting a lot of points now that people are dying very quickly. Uh, so there we go. We might do a genetic reshuffle right now just because we can. I don't know if this is a good idea, but we're going to do it. We need to get ahead of this. And we have killed almost half the world now. Uh, so if deaths really start escalating, we might get ahead of this. I do also need to slow down the cure, so we need another 10 points like yesterday. But there's 4 billion people dead, so that's pretty impressive all by itself. The raw potential of TikTok, there's, wait for it, the 30 points we need. So let's uh, slow this down. Oh, that's just another reshuffle. I need hardened, well, which one do we do? Which one's going to be better? Um, I'm kind of thinking actually the reshuffle. I'm not entirely sure on this, but we're going to do that. That's going to drop it down to 64%. At the rate people are dying, this might actually work because countries and stuff are going to start to break down pretty soon because the world is pretty dead so far. 5 billion people would probably put the brakes on a few projects. Uh, plus with these next uh, few points, we're going to have another, well, let's call it 19 points to spend on something good. I think for right now, we're going to settle on pulmonary fibrosis. And then we'll get that next because they're pretty cheap. I just need people to die a little bit quicker than what they are. The cure rate has definitely slowed down a lot though. Probably due to everyone being dead. But I think we might actually get away with this. If not, it's going to be close. So there's only 730 million people left alive on this planet. And there's going to be less and less as time goes on. I think we've got this one accomplished. There's only 400 million people left. The cure is 80% done. Just to be sure, we'll slow it down as soon as we can. Okay, the cure is pretty well stalled at 81%, which is good because there's only 150 million people left. So we're just going to let this one run out the clock. In fact, we're going to make it even worse. Let's not let the people suffer anymore. Have some comas. Enjoy those. And uh, apparently the cure got set back quite a bit. I'm not entirely sure what just happened, but it dropped to 70%. Maybe the people working on that fell into a coma. I don't really know. 80 million people left. And it naturally uh, gave us paralysis, which is pretty serious. I forgot this whole time that there's also a fast forward button, so I could have been doing this quite a bit quicker. Um, though maybe it's a good thing I wasn't playing in super fast mode because that would have been a little bit chaotic. But look at those numbers drop. Our last million people alive on Earth. 960, 8 something, uh, 500,000 ish. TikTok to destroy humanity. I think I would consider humanity destroyed by this point really. But let's see what country survived. I mean, survived the longest. Places like Turkey, Argentina, Colombia, Egypt, Australia. No, oh, being upside down would confuse the virus. Vital 100,000. I'm kind of surprised my lazy strategy worked. It obviously worked on easy mode, but on super hard mode, I didn't think it would get the job done. But I guess the moral of the story is never doubt TikTok. Okay, stay tuned for next time's adventure when we destroy the world in some other colorful way.